BBC News with Moira Alderson. Sri Lanka's President Gotabaya Rajapaksha has fled the country along with other members of his family. Mr Rajapaksha flew out on a military jet. Just days after his home was overrun by protesters, it's unclear where he's heading. The Ukrainian authorities say they're increasing the export of grain through formerly disused ports and canals on the Danube River Delta between Ukraine and Romania. Ukraine's recapture from Russia of Snake Island in the Black Sea means it's now safe for ships to pick up grain from the Delta ports and ship it to world markets. Twitter says it's suing Elon Musk in an attempt to force through the completion of his $44 billion deal to buy the social media giant. On Friday, the Tesla chief announced he was retracting his offer because he was not given information about the number of fake and spam accounts on the platform. Dozens of people in Haiti have died in days of clashes between rival gangs in the country's biggest shanty town near the capital, Port-au-Prince. Thousands are said to be trapped there without access to basic services. The Congressional Committee investigating the January the 6th storming of the US Capitol has heard witnesses describe a meeting between Donald Trump and his aides a month before the riot as unhinged. In the latest hearing, a pre-recorded testimony by Mr Trump's former White House counsel revealed how the president ignored his advice to concede the 2020 election. In Britain, the race to replace Boris Johnson as leader of the governing party and the country's prime minister has narrowed to eight fellow Conservative MPs. The man who planned one of the bloodiest single episodes of the Rwandan genocide, Laurent Bujibaruta, has been found guilty by complicity by a French court and sentenced to 20 years in prison. BBC News.